Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I am going to give you a walkthrough of tasks that a site reliability engineer performs when he or she is working. So this is going to give you a visualization of what you are going to do when you get a job as a site reliability engineer, especially in a product based company. Okay, so this is going to be a very useful video. So I'll just start. So uh, right now, as you can see on my screen, uh, you are seeing Jira tool. So this is the tool where we are tracking all the tasks assigned to us. Okay, not just us, but, but all the teams uh, who are working with you. So they use this Jira tool to uh, track all the activities. So for the team of developers, we have something called as sprints. Sprints is like a life cycle, you can say of two weeks that we have wherein whatever development uh, comes to them, they track it as part of this two week sprint. And uh, we have daily stand up calls to, uh, to get the updates on the tasks assigned to each of the individual within the team. Okay, so that's how it works. For uh, site liability engineers, we have something called as Kanban board, okay, K N B A N, as you can see here also. This is another Kanban board with the name site liability engineering. So this is the type of board or you can say the type of project management tool or the utility within this Jira tool that we use to track the tasks assigned to us. Okay. So as you can see here, I'm just seeing the tasks assigned to me right now. Okay. Like this. So all the tasks assigned to me will be visible here. If you want to see the tasks assigned to all the people in your team, you can click here as well. So you will see some other tasks also which are not assigned to you. Okay, so so basically you are seeing the task of your team right now. So this is the type of board that we have. And these are the type of tasks assigned to us in the Jira tool. Okay, now I'll just give you a, a I mean, some understanding of what actually happens. So when I'll talk about myself. So when I start my day, I, I check all the mails uh, in Outlook. I just check the Slack messages. Okay. And then I have a stand up call with my manager, uh, wherein I'm going to talk about all these tasks and their updates. Okay. So my manager is going to ask me uh, and any update on uh, ticket number, whatever ticket is okay, uh, K and three. So do you have any update on this one? So as you can see, this is a, a type of a real world task that configure application ABC to send its metrics to Prometheus. So we have a Prometheus uh, tool where we capture the metrics from all the applications. So we have to configure some application to send its metrics to, to uh, Prometheus. So this is how the tickets are raised. Okay, in terms of what kind of uh, tickets we, we raise here. So uh, I'll just, uh, just click on this one, K N one. So as you can see here, this is called Epic. Okay. So an Epic is like the a parent of all the tickets you can say. Okay. In in general, if I talk about, so within this Epic, you will have different stories, incidents. Okay. As you can see here. So if you, if you just click on, uh, if you just um, hover your, uh, uh, mouse to this icon here, you will see it is coming up as story. So stories are the tasks that are assigned to us. Okay. So these are the main tasks that we work on. So this is how we raise an epic. The uh, I mean, epic is raised by our manager or uh, you can also uh, say uh, so sometimes in companies you will find someone called scrum master. Okay. So those are the people who raise these epics after they get the uh, updates from their uh, uh, I mean, higher, uh, I mean, from their higher management. So they raise epics and then they create something called as stories and assign to different individuals. Okay. So right now, uh, there's only uh, one person uh, to which I can assign this because this is my uh, personal account. So I'm using this Jira free tool. Okay. So I'm going to give you the information around uh, how to configure this tool also. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll give you the link where you can uh, register yourself and you can practice okay, working on this Jira tool also. So if you see here, within this epic, you have these stories, you have uh, incidents as well. So if, if some issue arises, so in that case, you can raise an incident 
ओके और यू कैन रेज अ सिंपल टास्क ऑल्सो ओके बट इन जनरल और आई मीन मेजरली यू विल सी स्टोरीज असाइंड विद इन एपिक्स ओके सो आई जस्ट I'll just show you how it is done. Okay, so suppose I'm working on this ticket here. Uh, so I'll just uh, click on this story here. It's going to open like this, and here you will find the statuses. So the first status status is open. So uh, all this, all these different statuses that you see, these are highly configurable. Okay, if you want to see the entire workflow that a company is following uh, to uh, track the status of this uh, story here so you can click on this view workflow and here you can see the different statuses so it's, so it starts with open and then in progress code deployed code review and closed but these are highly customizable okay this is all created by me uh, i'm just trying to uh, uh, simulate what i do in my company but yes these are uh, these are highly uh, uh, customizable if you want you can change the name to something else also but this is what you will see in general okay so you will have open you will have in progress when you start working on it when you've deployed the code you can change the status to code deployed then if someone is reviewing your code you can just move it to code review and once everything is done successfully you can close the ticket okay so this is the workflow so right now as you can see this ticket is in open uh, this ticket is in open status and it is not assigned to anyone so what i'll do i'll just assign to me or uh, my manager can also assign to me so here i just click on this so this is assigned to me now and when i start working on it i'll change the status from open to in progress so in my daily stand up call i have to keep updating the ticket here okay so i'll just show you okay uh, how it's done so suppose uh, we'll take the example of this this particular issue only so where i have to uh, uh, just uh, try to configure an application to send its metrics to uh, prometheus so what i'll do is i'll just uh, go to the repo so all the all the code where we make changes it's going to be stored on a source code management tool it can be github it can be bitbucket it can be gitlab in my case i'm using gitlab so i'll i'll go to my uh, gitlab repo here for example this is the application okay that we want to configure this is just a random example okay this is not a real application but this is how the repo is going to look like when you're working this is how the repo will be and this is the interface this is the exact interface that you that you're going to see if you have a uh, gitlab as your source code management okay which i have in my current company so suppose uh, i have to make some changes here so what i'll do is i'll just clone this repo first so i'll just clone the uh, repo so i'm using ssh url here because i have already configured ssh based authentication on my local to this gitlab repo and in real world in companies you will be using ssh based authentication only okay so what you have to do you have to create a key pair on your local then upload the public ssh key to your gitlab account and then you can use the ssh based urls to clone or to interact with this repo here okay so you won't be asked any username and password so i'm going uh, so i have already done that in my case so i'm going to copy this url from here i'll go to my local and i'm going to clone the repository okay so it's cloned now i'll go inside this repo and uh, you will see the files here okay now let's check the branch so i'm on the main branch so okay so as as part of this change that i have to make okay the change cannot be made on the main branch okay that's now how it is work main branch is generally the the protected branch in your gitlab repo as well so you won't be able to do much here what do you do uh, you you're going to create a new branch okay you're going to create a new branch where you're going to put your changes and then you're going to raise a merge request or sometimes it's called a, a pull request also so you're going to raise an mr or a pr to merge your changes to the main branch so that's how we do in real world okay so i'm going to show you the exact walk through of how it happens so you have two options here because you want to make your changes in a new branch you can use a standard git command which is git checkout hyphen b new branch can be any name okay this is how you can do it but if you are using jira tool to track all your activities okay so in terms of one of the best practices what you can do is just 
delete this from here and uh, go to your Jira ticket itself and here you will find this this option create branch so if you just click on this menu here you can create the branch from here also okay I'll just uh, show you the difference and the significance of this so I'll just copy it from here and I'll copy this so you get the ready-made command git checkout hyphen b and then you get a random name of the branch from Jira tool the main difference between this way and the other way is here you are getting the name or sorry not the name but the id of the ticket id of the story that you're working on which is kan-3 in my case in the branch itself so this is the uh, best way to keep a track of the branch okay uh, to which uh, ticket it is related to so this is how you can do it and this is how i do it so this is going to create a new branch for, for you with you a new branch for you where you can uh, see the ticket id also in the name of the branch itself so now what, what you will do you will just check the status again and you will see branch is, is the new branch that's fine okay now the change suppose i have to make okay the change it can be anything so suppose i have to make a change to this file config map.yml file okay so what I'll do is I'll just add an, another environment variable. Okay, it can be any environment variable. Just giving you a demo. So, so I I just made a change. I just added another environment variable to to this uh, config map log level debug. Okay, I'll just save it. And now, if you check the status, you will see one file has been modified. So, I'll just add this file. Git add config map. Git commit. Hyphen m. Here you will write the uh, descriptive a message here so I can write edit log underscore level environment variable and then I'm going to push this change along with the branch so I'm going to do git push origin name of the branch which is this entire name okay up uh, till here so just uh, copy and run this and it's going to push your change along with the new branch to the repo like this done now you can go to your GitLab and uh, you can just refresh it once and you will see this type of uh, message here okay so which means that the change was successfully pushed to this repo and now as I mentioned to merge your changes you're going to raise a MR okay a merge request so you just click on create merge request okay here is uh, you can add the title or the description I'll just uh, copy this title here for description also assignee is going to be me because I'm the one who is making the change reviewer will be someone who wants to review your request okay so I don't have anyone here so I'll just choose I'll just keep it blank but in real world you will have uh, some senior developer or some senior team member who is going to review your changes okay so here you have to add the name of the reviewer who is going to review and approve or reject your change okay so since I don't have anyone here so I'll just keep it as blank and uh, yeah that's it and here you, you can choose the option of, of your choice but I'll just I'll just keep it as default and then I'm just going to click on uh, create merge request it's going to get the uh, uh, merge request for me Okay, and this is how the pipeline is going to run. Okay, so if you if you have a pipeline configured for this repo, it's going to run. Okay, it may fail, it may succeed, it depends. But this is how the workflow is going to be. This is how you're going to work on the tasks. Okay, you you will get the task assigned in a Jira tool like this under an epic. The tasks are generally are, are going to be called as a story, or it can be incident, or it can be some other task as well. But generally, you will see story incidents assigned to you as part of an epic. Okay. So yeah, so I'll just wait for this pipeline to uh, finish. Maybe it will fail, but anyways, whatever it is, we have to just updating the update the ticket here, okay? With the updates, whatever we have. Okay, the pipeline has failed, so let's just click on it and see why it failed. So here you can see the logs also, as as you already know, I've already covered it in my site liability engineering questions and answers, where I've uh, uncovered that uh, how you can check the logs. And identify the issue in GitLab itself in the GitLab uh, uh, pipeline jobs so you can just click on this here and you will get the log information why this job failed 
can be any issue so i i wasn't able to connect to the uh, kubernetes cluster is what i uh, what it means okay this error here okay so what i'll do i'll just update the ticket okay so i, I know that i mean i i, I just made my changes okay and uh, i raise an mr but the changes failed so now i have to reach out to other people uh, i have to uh, I have to reach out to um, I mean, it can be your uh, senior team member or it can be a developer who has written this application. Okay. It can be an event depending on the type of issue that you are facing. Okay. So all that, all whatever has happened, you have to update in the ticket itself. So what I'll do, I'll just write the update here. And this is what I actually do in my company. I'm, I'm telling you. Okay. So this is not a, a no, type of a demo thing. I'm, I'm telling you the exact tasks, how you act upon the tasks, how the tasks are assigned to you. How you work on them how you update them okay so i just wanted to give you this that type of demo so i'll just do uh, i'll just write the update raised an mr with the changes the pipeline the pipeline failed to run okay then reaching out to the developer maybe reaching out reaching out to the developer developer for assistance okay and you can you can actually add the mr information also so you can go to uh, merge request here this one and you can copy the mr url also like this and add it here so that anyone who uh, takes a look at the ticket Will be able to understand what has happened on this ticket okay the current update like this and same i'm going to update to my manager in the daily stand-up call so as i mentioned uh, in an uh, agile model you have daily stand-up calls that happen and where you have to update your manager about all the tasks uh, whatever are assigned to you whatever updates are there so this is how you edit okay so similarly, you can see other tasks also assigned to me. So similarly, I have to act upon on the on all those tasks. Okay. So I'm 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 going to come up with uh, more videos like this. And if you have any, any feedback, any any suggestions on this video, please let me know in the comment section. I'm going to answer all the queries. If you, if you like the content, please hit the like button. Please uh, share this uh, video with others, and uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me keeping uh, motivated to do more videos like this. Alright guys, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.